One of the parts that I get asked a lot of questions about is the friction clutch. It's described in the manual how to assemble it. I'm going to show that part right now. It, it starts by adding a spacer 4A to the minute hand arbor with about a quarter of an inch of the arbor extending out the bottom. Followed by gear 4A5418 and the large gear needs to spin freely on the arbor. If it doesn't spin freely, drill the center hole with the eighth inch or 3.2 millimeter uh, drill bit. That will allow the gear to spin freely on the arbor. Follow the diagram of how to add the parts in the assembly guide. It continues by adding a spacer, the spring from a, a click pen, another spacer, and then gear 4B with just over an inch of clearance between the gears. And these screws don't have to be super tight, just enough to hold the gears in position on the arbor. Let's see, 1.05. I can show how the friction clutch works by adding the minute hand onto the arbor and I can hold the large gear. I'm able to rotate the minute hand and that's what you would do when you're changing the time. When the clock is operating, the, the spring pushes everything together. So when the large gear rotates, everything else rotates with it. But the spring is weak enough that you can change the time by just pushing on the minute hand.